So it is a historic gamble by the Democrats in hopes of defeating Donald Trump. So far, it's at least paying off financially with a record $81 million in donations raised in the first 24 hours. But will it work? Wilson Walker caught up with one local political consultant who says Harris improved the odds in what could be a very tight race. But the fact of the matter is the primary knock on Joe Biden in the undecided electorate was, is he up to the job now? And will he be up to the job for the next four years? That question's off the table. Watching the news break by the hour in his San Francisco office, political and communications consultant Alex Clemens. He has known Vice President Harris for years, and he says, yes, she absolutely improves Democrats' chances come November. Empirically, without a doubt, it improves the odds. She is immune to the age and competence question. And transparency and trust. Harris, of course, faces her own questions. Her 2020 campaign failed to gain traction among Democrats. She is widely disliked among Republicans, and her favorability ratings are very comparable to President Biden's. If you can name me a national figure currently in office who's got a popularity rating that's on the sunny side of things, I'd love to hear who it is. There are lots of people in our extremely divided political world who are somewhere around 50-50. What's more important, he says, is that Harris appears to have a better shot at reaching the right voters in the right places. This has been the holy grail of political statisticians since time immemorial. A few hundred thousand voters in three or four or five states are going to decide this election. Pennsylvania, Georgia, Wisconsin. If Kamala Harris picks up these three states and nothing out of the question happens, she'll win. Clement says it will take a few days for good polling on how the public feels about Harris as the potential nominee. And while he does think she can win. There is no sure thing in this election, but whether Harris wins or Trump wins, the United States of America will be changed one way or the other in perpetuity. He also stresses that time is now the critical factor. Harris will start having to make her case immediately. Any missteps right off the start could be very costly. Then there's the big decision of a running mate. So even those who think Harris can win admit there is very little margin for error and no time to lose.